The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the March 28th, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I do want you to know I am absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. Now, if you have a question but you can't dial in, you can always send me an email. Send that out to Steve at TFNN.com. And inside the subject heading, if you'd be good enough to put radio show question. Of course, inside our Tiger's Den, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. We got a bit of a mixed bag out there. The Dow's up 31. The S&P's off 9. The Nasdaq 100 down 100. The Russell's up 2. Semis are down 49. We'll try to figure out what all that means. Gold's up 17 bucks. Trade out 1970. Silver's up 20 cents. Trade at 23.34. 169 for light to be crude. That's trade out to 69.33. Natural gas is basically flat. Trade out 209. The 30 year treasury down 9 ticks. 130.02 is the print. We're getting a little bit of a bounce out here. That's to be expected. Why is that to be expected? expected Steve Arino because we'll go take a look at the NQ's charts out here We'll start with the NQ. We'll take a look at what's going on on an intraday basis. If you take a look at that 15-minute chart, I'll just expand it out for you. You've got both a Rhodes Mintum Indicator bottom and a TD9 count bottom out here. So you've got a uh, bounce that's going on. We've got the required bottoming signals. Where's price headed to? Well, first, if this is just a counter trend move, 12,695 to 12,703 will stop the advance. At 12,695, we've got the center of this bullish structured 15-minute profile. Counter trend moves. Inside eight, when they get below a bullish structure profile, they will typically find resistance at that center line. So that's the first test. But we can see that red oscillator and change line is just above it. It should at least spike that level, 12,703. Well, Stevie, what happens if price close above 12,703? Well, then what this chart would be communicating to you and I is a move to 12,740. Stevie, what happens if price close above 12,740? Then the next target is where price broke down from. And that was part of the TD9 count pattern. And that's up at 12,785. So we have to take this one step at a time. But the cool thing is we've got the tools here that are helping us to uh, uh, interpret exactly what the 15 minute time frame chart for the NQ is doing. So we're watching 12,695, 12,703, and 12,740, and finally 12,785. But to the downside, we're watching the low of the session out here. If we see a close below that, and that is momentarily, drum roll, Johnny, that is 12,650. If you see a close, certainly on a 15 minute base between below 12,650, that tells you that we are headed lower. Lower to where? Great question. Well, the lower to where possibility is at this 12,296 level. We're opening the upper left hand chart right now. That's the daily time frame. And what we see here is that price has lost its momentum, or it appears it's losing its momentum. It's only 1110. It will be dependent upon the close. If price closes back about 12,735, then negate that last comment because it has not lost its momentum and it would still be in a neutral signal. It's a little less than neutral right now with that price below 12, it's 12,735. Other potential price targets. You've got a Rhodes Mintum indicator top on the five hour chart. So 12,529 would not be a unusual place for price to target. 12,633 on the four hour time frame chart. 
Um, those would be the areas to be watching. Let's pull this 15-minute chart back over there. Um, not really much that I see otherwise. Uh, certainly there's A to B equal C D down patterns out here in the 30 and the 60. And uh, we've got some potential bullish reversal candles. You still got 20 minutes left in this current uh, candle session for the 30-minute chart out there. So let's not make that call. But you've got resistance there at about 12, 7, 18. So with regard to the NQ, we understand why it's bounced. Just right now, it's still just a counter trend move. We would change that for the 15 minute time frame. We would change that view with a close above that 12703 area. Now, if we take a look at what's going on underneath the covers, this is for the NASDAQ 100. We'll see we've got a 60 minute. Let's just take a look at exactly what the numbers are out here. So, on a 60 minute basis, let me get rid of this line. We have uh, 29 instruments trading above the top of a 60 minute profile, 52 below the bottom. But as we said earlier, we do have a oh, – well, I, I guess I can't do that just yet. Uh, I, maybe I can do that. Let's see if I do this. What happens? No, I can't do that. Okay. Well, you learn something new every day. Okay, Stevie, let's get back to it. Uh, so uh, the 60-minute chart might form a buy the D point pattern. But you still have negative market breadth as we speak. On a four-hour time frame – we have positive market breadth. No, we have negative. 29 are trading above. Forget these lines out here. They're not accurate right now. 29 above, 39 below. So there's where our bearish tone is, so to speak, market breadth. On a daily time frame, 24 above, 16 below. So the daily time frame is still bullish. And the uh, weekly time frame is also still bullish with us uh, 23 above and 16 below for it. So with regard to the intraday time periods, the 60 and the 240, let's come back over here. So the 60, let's open up the chart, take a look at it. Do we really have an A to B equals CD to the downside? You know, I'd say, yeah, but it looks like this. It's really not a gigantic one. Your A point's going to be from that high down to the slow where price was testing a breakout level. And now we take a look at the uh, C to D leg on this. We basically come very close to hitting it. About 12, 629 or so would have been the one to one on that. We can take a look at other A to B equal CD patterns out here, ones that maybe are completing smaller ones with inside the large one. Here's an A to B. Let's just move this over to the C point out here. That would look like this. We can see that one, in fact, is completing. If we do get a bullish reversal candle, this again is a 60 minute time frame, we should at least see a move up towards the 12,759, 12,784 level out there. The other chart was a 240 minute chart. We're in bar number seven. So hitting 12,633.50 is uh, not out of the question. That's its breakout level of support. So let's summarize this, Steve O. I still think you watch the 15 minute chart for signals out here. You can do the same thing with regard to the 10. But I'll go with the 15-minute chart for, for signals as to what the market's intent is. And right now, we don't know what the answer to that is. So uh, that's with regard to the NQ and what it's doing. Real quickly here, if we take a look at the ES, just simply from a market breast standpoint, let's see where we're at for the S&P 500. We are, wow. Man, this is really getting to be an interesting day. Where we had been negative on the 60 and 240 for the... Uh, uh, for the ES Mini, we're now back to positive there. And the daily is 117 above and 122 below. If we get that to switch over to a bullish crossover, we should see a rally out there. So we got a slightly positive, almost positive market breadth on the daily time frame for the S&P. We still have it for the NQ and the NASDAQ. We've got what's called a choppy market. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com 
TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, you got a uh, mixed bag. The Dow's up 53, S&P's off 7, NASDAQ 100 down 90, and the Russell's up uh, 2 points. We're going to go take a look at natural gas. This is for ELO inside the Tiger State. I'm going to start off with these charts out here, ELO, and then we will go back and uh, take a look at the white background charts. What we've got out here is uh, on a daily time frame, this candle session right here, the candle session is February 22nd. That formed a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom pattern out there. That was a bullish reversal candle. Price closed below that low yesterday. That low is $2.26 out there. So that pattern has been negated. We, we'll see when we go take a look at the uh, daily time frame charts. There's still Rose Mintum indicator signal is still present, but it needs a new bullish reversal candle to confirm that bottom. On And so with regard to where is price headed to? Well, one potential price target would be the expansion of its last set of swing points. That's the low from February 22nd all the way to the high from March the 3rd. That one to um, one to 1.272 expansion would get us down to about two dollars and two cents. The 1.618 expansion of that set of swing points is one dollar and 71 cents. If we look at the weekly time frame chart, you'll see an A to B equals CD pattern. This was confirmed. Well, actually, this uh, confirmed a TD9 count bottom. It does that on February 20th. Now, what we don't know is whether or not price is going to close below that low. That low is $2.26. To be specific, 2.263. If price holds that, then we still may have a bottom pattern. Whereas if price closes below that, that says lower price. We're trading below it as we speak right now, but it's only Tuesday. At $2.26 or 2.263 to be exact, that is the bottom of a monthly hammer candle. So it's only the uh, 28th out there but if we do get a monthly close below two dollars and 26 cents and then a weekly close below two dollars and 26 cents well we're not going to have any kind of a bottom pattern with regard to natural gas that would require some type of bullish reversal candle to potentially confirm the next pattern on a weekly and certainly on a bullish reversal candle on the daily. So the very first thing uh, to uh, share with you, ELO, is at the moment, natural gas does not look very good. And you will see we are trading below all levels of support. And by that, what I mean are profile levels. We're below daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly 
we take a look at the MA contract. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the other set of screens. Here we'll be able to pick up some of the intraday time periods and just see if there's any kind of signals or any kind of hope there. And so if we look at a 10-minute chart here for natural gas, what do I have? I'm sure I could find an A to B equals CD pattern. What we really have that's important here is $2.25. I'll just simply expand out the 10-minute uh, chart out here. Let's just simply kind of adjust this in our picture a bit. What we'll see here is uh, price would really need to take out a TD9 count breakdown level to suggest that there's any potential of a change in trend for the 10 minute time frame. That's at $2.25. So that's an area to be watching on any moves to the upside. It looks like on a 15 minute time frame, we're going to have a, a similar level to be watching, $2.25 there. Price is. Um, I see an A to B equals CD, so I see a sell the D point pattern on the 15 minute time frame chart. That should take price back to its oscillator and change line. That's at about $2.20, so you got a top there. On a 30 minute time frame chart, that $2.25 shows up as a TD9 count breakdown area. So I think this is pretty easy. ELO, we don't need to uh, belabor this much further. We know about the downside issues. With regard to the upside issues, watch $2.25. If you get a close above that, then it suggests it may have some legs for a little bit of a further rally. But right now, things are looking uh, somewhat miserable inside of natural gas land. On a larger intraday basis, the five-hour chart has a TD9 count, potential for a TD9 count pattern. Hard to say right now. This bar does not close till 2 p.m. Now, the bar at my house, that's open 24 hours a day. So you're welcome to join me there, although I'm not much of a drinker. So uh, if we take a look at, uh, other than sake, that is, but if we take a look at the four-hour time frame chart, this could be forming a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. Won't know till 2 p.m. when we take a look at that candle session. So that's the overview with regard to natural gas, ELO. I hope that that helps you out, and thank you so much for your kind request. Next request coming in from the Tiger's Den as well. That's to take a look at ticker symbol PLL. And this is a uh, platinum. Uh, I don't know if this platinum, but this is the ETF. Let me find out for you. PLL is... A Piedmont lithium. It's not platinum, it's lithium. Hello, Stevie, wake up. The question is, is this a bounce or a bottom? Well, what I can share with you, McGuppy, is that here's the A to B equals CD pattern, and this is completing today. Now, not the pattern itself that's completing, but the bullish reversal candle. We've got a gap to the upside. Now, price is within inside a bullish structured profile, and it's running up to resistance. And that's at 56.68. So we know that we've got, on a daily basis, a valid bottoming pattern. What we don't know is do we have a change in trend? Now, we've got one possible one one signal that says, yes, Stevie, this is very likely a change in trend, and that is that price has been able to move above the red oscillator and change line. But McGuppy, to answer your question specifically, I believe you need to get a close above resistance, which is 5668, in order to suggest that this is a bottom or at least that you have more of a bounce. And that more of a bounce would or should take you up to 6501. With inside the weekly profile, what price did last week, it got back and tested support, 49.94. Sometimes just pulling back to support our entry areas for positions out there. Well, it turns out it appears that that was the case from a weekly start, a weekly standpoint. So you've got a nice consolidation going on between its profiles. You're above the profile on the monthly basis, so that's a positive. So yeah, with regard to has this bottomed? Uh, it does give you that bottom pattern, and you'll get confirmation of that, that this is a uh, change in trend signal with a close about 56.68 out there. Now, this will be day number three for PLL on a further move higher, meaning consecutive closes above prior closes out there. We've seen as many as five consecutive uh, days out here. We've seen one four. So this should be nearing some type of short-term top between today and Thursday, I would uh, estimate out here, just simply based upon just normal movement, normal dance steps with inside the uh, stock market. So there's your PLL. That was from Guppy inside the Tiger's Den. Jane wrote in by email. Jane wants to take a look at uh, Tesla. She's looking for an entry point out here. Let's actually read the question. Make sure I've got everything. Yeah, could you give me an entry point? So we've got it. So as we take a look at Tesla, what I don't have out here really is any kind of signal when I take a look at the daily time frame. Yes, I had a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. That turned into a buy the D point or a Gartley buy pattern. That was confirmed with this bullish piercing candle on March the 20th. So I've got a top and I've got a valid bottom. And right now what price is doing, it's testing, it's trying to get back inside its daily profile, Jane. So the area that I'll be watching is 189.51. 
if Tesla can close below 189.51, and I don't know that it will, but if it does, then that's going to suggest that your buy area, your buy zone, would be between 171.22 and 178.54. What you'd want to do is you'd want to kind of, it should price pull back. You'd want to benchmark volume against the swing point for March 13th. There was 167 million shares that day out here. In fact, like uh, two days ago when price was pulling back 116. So uh, watch the volume. If price is pulling back and it happens to test, that means get down to at least 177.35, close it back above it with less than 167 million shares. That too would be a signal of an entry area into uh, Tesla out there. And that could be then setting up the uh, C point of an A to B equals CD to the upside. Wait a minute, Stevie, I thought you said this already had a A to B equals CD to the upside that completed. I did, but this could turn into a larger one. So, Jane, the answer to your question is you've got to wait for further information today. And the area to be looking at is at 171.22, 178.54. And you really want to pay attention to 177.35. High that swing point from Tesla for back on March the 13th. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We get back to this break. We're going to look at XBI from a guppy in the tiger's den. Of course, I'd love to hear from you, too. We'll be right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So still a mixed bag out there. That mix goes like this. You've got the um, Dow's up 66, S&P's down 5, Nasdaq's up 88, Russell's up 2, Semis are down 50, Trannies are up 64. We've got a total mix out there, but we're going to take a look at XBI. This is for um, this is from a guppy inside the Tiger's Den. His question is, uh, this is the uh, Spider S&P Biotech. Has this 
bottom? And the answer is yes. Uh, two days ago, this generated Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom. And uh, today, actually yesterday, you've got a new profile that has formed out there. So you can see the bullish reversal candle. That formed on March the 24th. That was on Friday. Yesterday, you move higher. We're with inside this uh, new profile. Support is 7309. First level of resistance, 75.71. Second level of resistance, 77.67. If you get a close above 77.67, you've got a change in trend signal, and that suggests we move higher. Move higher to where? I would say 79.01 to 79.56 would be the targets. McGuppy, that's looking at the weekly time frame chart out there. Uh, that's just simply the bottom of its profile and its oscillator and change line out there. And on a monthly time frame, uh, monthly time frame isn't uh, there's nothing really great out here on the monthly time frame so it's going to be the daily right now that's controlling things and uh, you do have a bottom pattern and you've got a profile that uh, price is trading within and the positive here or it could be at day's end and watch this McGuppy is price is right now trading above its red oscillator and change line currently printed at 7501 we haven't uh, closed above a uh, oscillator the red oscillator or any oscillator and change line since uh, February the uh, 7th and it is now March the 28th out there. So that would be another indication uh, to you of a change in trend signal. Now, here's the deal. What's the deal, Stevie? If we take a look at XBI, this is going to become or could become day number four of consecutive closes higher. As we just simply scan the charts for the black numbers, the ones up at the top, we've got one instance where we had a four-day rally. Now, that doesn't mean that it can't rally for a fifth day. We're just taking a look. We're just trying to understand odds, probabilities, what the uh, market does from day to day out here. And so this does suggest that we could or should get at least a one-day pullback. Maybe it's more than that. And that pullback should take place tomorrow out there so yeah that does so so what so knowing this out here if you're looking to enter a position in xbi would you enter it now knowing that we're likely not guaranteed that we're likely to get a short-term top today and then pull back tomorrow i would say yeah tomorrow would be the time to maybe look into uh, adding this position to your portfolio again the weekly and the monthly you know they're somewhat suspect but you can go with the uh, daily charts out there so i hope that helps you out uh, mcguppy and thank you so much for the request next request coming in from someone inside the tiger's den who was that asking for it it was it was it is it's ron Okay, Ron wants to take a look at Lightspeed Crude, but specifically on a 15-minute time frame. So let's get to those charts out here. Do I have a 15-minute? I do. His question was, specifically with regard to Lightspeed Crude, uh, do my analysis bullish or bearish, I believe. So if we take a look at it, here's what we know. We know that price right now is trading into a bearish structured 15 minute profile, Ron. That bearish structured profile is between 7344 and 7328. Is it bullish? You are consolidating with inside a set of profiles. Price is above a green oscillator and change line. So, from a momentum standpoint, the answer is yes, it's bullish. But you've just got a consolidation. Where it gets bullish, this is light sweet crude. This is on a 15-minute chart, Ron, is a close above the candlestick at 4.30 in the morning. That candlestick, that confirmed a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. That is your real resistance level. Only a close above that on a 15-minute basis, that's 73.52. Will that then say that this is truly bullish? So I'm going to go with neutral out here. Why? Because we've got that existing top with price consolidated with inside its profile. It did close below it once at 9.30 this morning, but right back above it, got back inside it on the uh, 9.45. So this is, that was a false break to the downside. So again, I'd watch that high. That's at 4.30 high this morning, 73.52. It didn't give me, I don't believe it gave me the option to go uh, neutral, but that is the message for light sweet crude for its 15 minute time frame. Now there's others out there that are interested perhaps in light sweet crude, but not on a 15 minute time frame. If we take a look at the daily, you now have an A to B equals C to the upside. So light sweet crude, it uh, bottoms with the TD9 count. Very next day, it forms a bullish structured profile. Price was able to take out that resistance yesterday. That's the top of the profile. The A to B equals CD pattern. Now just the one to one isn't substantially higher than where we're at, but that doesn't mean that price is only gonna do a one to one A to B equals CD. The important thing, is to understand that we are now on a daily basis in the bullish mode for Lightspeed Crude. And therefore, what you 
really be looking at doing on a 15-minute basis until things change is looking at buying those pullbacks. So back to the 15-minute chart, if you did get back down to that 72.20, 72.79 level, that may be an area that you want to take a look at putting on a position out here. Uh, do I see anything else? I don't see anything else at this stage of the game out here. So I hope that helps you out, Ron, with regard to Light Street Crude, and uh, thank you so much for the request. The next request that I've got in here is to take a look at, let me see here, is it Microsoft? No, it was XBI. We looked at XBI, right? Yeah, we looked at XBI. So we got that. Uh, let's try, is this it here? Yep, Microsoft. So this is for Dano, and Dano is looking for a spot to go along Microsoft. Well, what do we have for Microsoft? And that's really a great question. First, Dano, we can see, uh, do I have a, uh, do I really have a top out here? Well, if I take this back a long ways, I believe the answer is going to be yes. Now, when I say a long ways, you've got an A to B equals C D pattern. It's already been, we've already seen one sell the D point pattern form, but that's okay. The A to B equals C D pattern is still there. I'm just simply going to move this over. So there's your C to D leg, okay? And we can see that yesterday was a bearish a bear sash candle out there. So I'm going to go with, yeah, there is a uh, possibility that we really have a sell the D point pattern inside of Microsoft. Whether we do or we don't, what we do know, Dano, is that we are trading with inside a bearish structure daily profile. And if we get a close below its green oscillator and change line, 274.22, that will communicate to you and I that Microsoft has lost its momentum. Well, if it's lost its momentum on a daily time frame, where is the next level of support? Now, look, 266.74 is a resistance level. Sometimes resistance can become support. I typically don't use the TD9 breakout and breakdown levels for that, but I have seen it happen. I haven't seen. I don't see it happen all the time. Instead of like a uh, swing point, like uh, you know, that's a bullish or bearish reversal candle. Nonetheless, a close below 274.33 today should lead to a further a, a further move lower. It could get all the way down to 249.49. So if you're asking me for an entry point, I'm going to tell you right here and now, 249.49 would be one of those. I don't have any signals to suggest that price is going to get back there, at least not just yet. We'll go take a look at the other charts here for Microsoft. But here's a 30-minute time frame chart. And on a 30-minute time frame chart, we basically have a good old-fashioned sideways consolidation that's going on. It's from the range of about 274. It's breakout area on a 30-minute time frame. That uh, formed on 1230 on March the 21st. And the resistance area, really more about this 281-ish type area out here. So no real great signals on a 30-minute chart out there. I think you just have to keep watching the charts. First is watching the daily time frame chart and seeing if price does close below that uh, oscillator and change line. Now, this is going to become or could become day number two of consecutive moves lower. In the case of Microsoft, we have seen as many, recently as many as five and four. You know, the typical price move is two twos and threes out there, but certainly we get some four. So since we've had a five and a four out here, um, I'm not going to say that the uh, two bar move to the downside is going to uh, mark the bottom for Microsoft, especially with price now trading below that green oscillator and change line and inside a fairly large profile. So you've got to be patient, Dano, but I hope that review from Microsoft helps you out and understands what we're both looking at. Steve Rhodes with TFNM. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we've got the uh, Dow's up 82, S&P's off 3, NASDAQ 1 are down 83 points as we speak. We're going to go take a look at sorry, Iran. It's trying to run something here, and the uh, system kind of messed up. Let me uh, get back to where I believe that we are, which is EXK. And this is for uh, Duffy, and Duffy was just asking for just basically the general analysis for EXK. So uh, that's what we've got up on our screen right now. And EXK is trading out at 359, and it is uh, targeting 365. 365, so you, you might have an A to B equals C, D to the upside. So 365 is the uh, TD nine count breakdown area. And uh, the volume on this session here, bar number six, that would become the B point of an A to B equals CD. So the volume on that bar is 2.5 million shares. You're at 976 so far. So you're going to have volume in this uh, instrument today that's taking out a, a B point. So let's draw in the A to B equals CD. Which, or the yeah, let's draw the A to B point. So we've got that right there. Let's draw. Let's just copy this uh, if we can. We we can. We can do the Stevie copy, and then the Stevie paste, and then the Stevie assemble. Well, the assemble takes a whole lot more work out there. You have to be very experienced. You know, you, you have to go to uh, college uh, and get your CPA in order to become a cut, paste, and assemble kind of guy like I am. And uh, and you can see, even though I've done that, uh, it's not working out very well. I think you have to have really good hands too. So we take a look at the A to B equals CD pattern that is in play out here. That could get us up into the four dollar range. So it looks like you're going to get a confirmation of an A to B equals CD and EXK to the upside. That is Endeavor Silver Corp. But you do have a battle at 365 Duff, so you want to watch that. We can see that price closed above the top of its weekly profile last week, the week before. So this is a real breakout that's going on there. So there's nothing on the weekly chart to suggest that this was or does not want to move higher. You've really got two areas to watch. The daily TD9 count breakdown area, 365, and the monthly oscillator and change line, which is where price is trading right now. It's at 360. Price is trading at 360. So you'd love to see it close above this, on, uh, certainly as we're at the 28th, so a couple more days from now. You'd love to see um, Endeavor Silver close above that monthly oscillator and change line. Price has not been above 
the monthly oscillator and change line for Endeavor Silver since July of 2021. So that would be another positive there uh, if you were to uh, for, for EXK. So I hope that that helps you out. That was for Duffy inside the Tiger's Den. If there's anything else you needed, Duff, just go ahead and let me know, and I'll be happy to try to get that for you. Bob from Spokane wanted to take a look at uh, Micron. MU is a ticker symbol. I believe they are out with earnings after the bell tonight. If we're looking for some kind of tell here, well, what price did today was it pulled back so far today and has tested and rejected that green oscillator and change line. That is a bullish signal out there. That is uh, 58.19 is where the oscillator and change line. Now, if it closed below 58.19, it would not be a bullish signal. It would tell you that price has lost its way momentum-wise, but price would still be or could still be above the top of its profile. So right now, with price above 57.47 and 58.19, the top of its profile and its green oscillator and change line, conditions are bullish. Why isn't it bearish, Stevie? Well, because there's no topping signal that I have out here. We just have the whole purpose not the whole purpose. Didn't turn out that the, what, what, the entire purpose at the time that I uh, created this uh, tool uh, for my system was to be able to make a determination when it was a retracement, just a retracement. Quite frankly, it's for days like today um, out here. Uh, I spoke Aunt Bob when we take a look at a pullback. Ordinarily, people would see this pullback, and it's a pretty good pullback out there and say, okay, it must be over. But it ain't over. The only way it gets over is if it breaks the back of the momentum, and that would require a close below that green oscillator and change line out there. Uh, with regard to the weekly uh, time frame chart, you just have a good old-fashioned consolidation between 54.79 and 62.75, and on the monthly time frame chart, you've got a good old-fashioned consolidation between 51.50 and its oscillator and change line. That's up at 63.68. So that's where you've got 63.68, 62.75 could be caps on further moves on a further move higher out there hard to say until we see a couple more days uh, out here but right now the signal for today um, is that uh, micron probably wants to move higher after the uh, bell now if we take a look at what this has done on a daily basis just its dance steps this is going to be day number three of consecutive lower closes out there it does go beyond that so we have had a couple of fives out here so but but we're going to go with where is it trading right now so if it continues to trade above the top of that profile and oscillator and change on at the end of the uh, session out there the signal should be that micron wants to at least move a bit higher out there so i hope that helps you out uh, John wanted to take a look at coffee. John, my uh, data feed out there, that's what kind of threw me off. For the white background charts, I would have to change a number of things, and I just can't do that that quickly here during the show. But what I can do is we're going to change windows and go take a look at coffee. So what that really means is I can't give you intraday data just yet. I mean, I could do it this way, I suppose. I'd come over here, and I could say, let's just take a KC. Let's go to the May contract from an intraday standpoint, see what this is doing. So we'll do that here. So if I take a look at coffee right now, so by the way, we'll take a look at coffee. There's an A to B equals CD to the downside pattern that may unfold out here, may get to a price projection level. So we're just putting this in here. So your A to B equals CD pattern will get you down to the 170, 65, 168, 46 type level. But price would, uh, you know, right now what it's done is just pulled back and tested a prior swing. I'm not, I don't need to tell you that. But the volume on the swing that it tested, this was uh, from March 24th at 545 in the morning. 417 shares were traded there. And this has tested it with 1,200 shares, tested it with uh, 1,200 shares again. And it has rejected that uh, swing point. But it's rejected with too much volume. Price right now just consolidating with inside its pro on a 30-minute basis, 175 and 99 to 173.85. But I doubt it's just a 30-minute time frame chart that John wanted the info on. So let's go take a look at our three panel sets of charts out here in the daily time frame. Let's uh, pull up coffee now, see what it's doing, and uh, make sure that I'm on the right page. I'm on the right page. So we take a look at coffee out here. Um, what do we have? So we have price that's really been, it's, it's kind of just the sideways action out here most recently, but price is trading below the bottom of a bullish structure daily profile, but it's been up and back and forth between that area. So that's not the area, John, that's important to you or important to us. The area that's important to you and us is 
16857 and 17369. That is the bullish structured weekly profile. And price seems to find support at that 17369 area. So that's your first key area. Resistance is going to be at 18470 on the daily, 18903 on the uh, weekly, and no reason for me to give you anything on the uh, monthly chart out there. So, John, that's the information you want. If there's anything else that you need intraday, just write back to me and I can get those charts fired up sometime this afternoon and send that off to you. Uh, next question, I don't have the next Oh, I do, platinum. Uh, platinum is in, what month is platinum in? Platinum is in the uh, April contract. Yeah, it looks like April contract. So let's go take a look at uh, platinum. We'll do that by going back to those white background charts here momentarily. So let me get that at least fired up and then we'll switch over. So we've got 0423 out here for platinum. We'll change, what did I change it? No, let's change the uh, screen out here while this is populating. And this is for... Uh, this is for uh, Dan inside the Tiger's Den. So when I take a look at the April contract for Platinum, Dan, we can see that price is trading with inside its daily profile. The next area of support, if this area doesn't hold, when I say this area, um, I'm specifically referring to 963.40. If that level doesn't hold, Dan, we see Platinum down to the 939.10 level. That's the bottom of its daily profile. We come back to this break, we'll finish looking at Platinum for Dan inside the Tiger's Den. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at the platinum charts here. What we see when we take a look at the interday, you're seeing all kinds of bottom patterns that have uh, formed out here, a road's meant to indicator bottom patterns. But look at the 60-minute time frame. So, so that says the low of the day. I know, Dan, you're looking to uh, short platinum. So you had put down one possibility was looking at uh, shorting around 968.10. The low of the day is 968.10, not 9, 9 then you had 968.50. I'd wait for a close below 968.10 if you want to play that momentum move. Otherwise, out here, you know, if you look at the uh, – so if I look at the uh – the four-hour time frame chart out here. We'll see a series, two two different, a bunch of TD9 counts, quite frankly. Uh, but the one that you're interested in really is this one right here that formed at about 10 o'clock in the morning, and that was on March the 17th. So, you know, we've got TD9 count tops. All Price been able to do is come back and test its breakout level of support, 965.10. And on this 240-minute chart, you have a hammer low out here, which is uh, a 962.20. That was tested earlier uh, this morning, and that was rejected. That hammer. So, yeah, I think you've got to wait. Where's an ideal place to possibly short platinum? Um, and that's a great question. And I don't really think I have that answer. It's certainly 987.10, 987.70 could be an area. You'd ideally like to see some type of topping signal on these intraday charts, Dan, as price moves higher out there. You say low of days, uh, 969. Um, 950, 9.50, you're right. My apology for misreading that. A little dyslexic there. So 9.50, 9.50 is the, uh, you're right. Uh, sorry about that. Um, but I think you've got this. You see the charts here. Uh, and again, I was to see these bottoming signals. So I'd, I'd wait for some type of pattern on the intraday chart to uh, show up before I would go ahead and uh, short platinum. So I do hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for the request. The uh, next and final request is going to be to take a look at Apple. This is for Dennis, who's out in rainy Pebble Beach. Dennis. Apple formed a uh, Rhodes Mint Indicator top. It did it on March 22nd. It reconfirmed that yesterday with the bear sash candle. You've got a new profile in place and price below that green oscillator and change line, which is currently printed at 158.08. A close below 158.08. We should see a move down to 153.74, the bottom of that daily profile for Apple. Folks, stay tuned. You got Thinkorswim up next uh, and a wonderful day of trading. And I will see you tomorrow on Wonderful Wednesday. Remember, sell when you can, not when you have to. Take care, folks. We'll see you soon.